Hi children, this is your English ma'am. I hope you are all fine and good. I think you all practiced uh, reading the poem also. Yes, very good. Now let's start the next activity. Our first lesson is what a curve of colors. In this, we have completed the pep activity in part three, and also reading the poem also we have completed. Now we are moving to the question time activity. Okay, what is prettier than boats sailing on rivers? What is prettier than boats sailing on rivers? For answering this, we have to read the poem one time. Boats. What's the poem name? The Rainbow, written by Christina Rossetti. Poem is boats sail on the rivers and ships sail on the seas. But clouds that sail across the sky are prettier than this. There are bridges on the rivers as pretty as you please, but the bow that bridges heaven and overtops the trees and builds a road from earth to sky is prettier far than this. This is the poem, children. What's our first question? What is prettier than boats sailing on the river? Which is the most prettiest thing on the sky? Which one? The rainbow. So here they have given a bridge rainbow. See comparing to these three. Which is prettier? Rainbow is prettier. So that is the answer. Rainbow is the prettiest thing above all. Next question. This is the question time activity children. Whenever you find question time activity. That will allow you to check your understanding about the particular Topic or lesson, okay? You can under uh, check yourself whether how much you understood the lesson. Okay, what is the bow that bridges heaven? What is the bow that bridges heaven? Is the second question. What is the bow? Which bow bridges the heaven? Which bow bridges the heaven? The bow that bridges the heaven is rainbow. The bow that bridges he heaven is rainbow. Next one, third question, and builds a road from earth to sky, and builds a road from earth to sky. So, which one builds a road from earth to sky? What does this mean? This means the rainbow looks like a road from earth to sky. Which look like a road from earth to sky? is yes, the rainbow. Fourth question, fourth question is, give another title for the poem. If you want to give another title, you can give, for example, Colorful Rainbow, Beautiful Rainbow, Amazing Rainbow. You can give any name to the poem. Okay, They have given the name as The Rainbow, but you can give any other name. Okay, Next activity is, I think all the four questions you are clear. Let's go to next activity, Think and Ink. Tick the picture that is your favorite feature of nature. What's the first picture? Breeze. Second picture is Moon. Third picture is sun, fourth is rain, fifth is snow, sixth is rainbow. From these five, these six, which one is your favorite? You have to take, for example, moon or sun or rain, rainbow, snow, breeze. Any one thing you have to tick. Okay. After ticking this, imagine you are enjoying your favorite feature of nature. Imagine which is your favorite feature, any one you have to choose. Think and imagine that you are enjoying that feature. Draw a picture to show this. Which is your favorite feature of nature, that one you have to draw in this picture. For example, I have given one picture, but it is in black and white. Okay, it's a pencil drawing. You can draw with colors. Okay, what is your favorite feature? You can draw that feature in this box. After drawing, write a few lines to describe your favorite feature of nature. You have to draw, write a few lines about this picture. You have drawn this picture, no. Your favorite feature. Write few lines to describe your favorite feature of nature. For example, I like to see this rainbow. See the rainbow. Whatever comes in your mind, write 5 lines at, at least. Okay, how many lines you want to write? At least 5 lines. Okay, are you clear with this? Yes. 
next one is the companion activity you will be having one studio and one companion with you now you should take your companion book page number one okay in that they have given companion activity 1a imagine a bright sunny morning scene it is a morning scene how are they saying because there is a sun in the picture complete the following picture make it colorful you have to complete drawing this picture the tree is also incomplete uh, half of the sun only their fence is also incomplete bushes also not present here clouds also empty if you want a rainbow what do you want to add to this picture yes very good rain if you add the rain and complete the sun means you can obviously draw the rainbow so it will be suitable for this scenery okay describe this scene briefly you may start like this i see a beautiful morning scene the sun is shining brightly and then continue writing here describe about this morning scene here okay if you write you will be getting a beautiful essay beautiful passage okay on your own words let's move to the next okay we have completed the companion next one naming words and their plural now we are entering into the grammar part since we are entering into a new topic they have given you the pep activity whenever pep activity come it will recap your previous knowledge about the particular topic here the topic is naming words and their plurals names of people places and things or naming words what are all the naming words names of the people places and things or naming words okay whatever name it may be if it is a name of a person or name of a place or an object whatever name it is it is called naming word everything around you that you can see a name is a naming word for example i can see the computer so computer is a naming word i can see you means uh, what's your name your name is a naming word okay for example your name is usha means your usha is a naming word i can see a computer so computer is a naming word i can see a flower flower is a naming word frog is a naming word these are all examples of naming words naming words that name one person one place or thing or singular okay naming words that name one person place or thing or singular if it is a singular naming word it will indicate only one in number okay one person one place one object like that those that name more than one person place or thing are plurals for example if your uh, naming word is indicating only one pumpkin is there what will you say it is a singular naming word pumpkin pumpkin is a singular naming word cat cat is how many cat is there one cat so it is a singular naming word cat turtle there is only one turtle here so turtle is a singular naming word if there is more than one pumpkin one two three three pumpkins are there means pumpkins it is a plural if there is three cats just plural three turtles it is plural not only 3 4 5 6 7 8 even two pumpkins are there also plural only okay next one are you clear with this yes rainbow is also a naming word rainbow is also a naming word think of three other naming words that are part of nature already i have told you there are many features of nature available nature is available here they have mentioned rainbow and in here they have given tree you have to write three more examples feature of nature you have to mention here write the singular and plural forms of these words in the clouds okay for example cloud rainbow star and hill these are all the features of nature i have written the singular what is the plural of cloud clouds rainbow is rainbows star is plural of star is stars plural of hill hills these are all the singular and plural naming words complete the table with naming words that are singular or plural one is done for you this is the next activity they have given carrot the plural of carrot is carrots plural of penguin is you have to write this penguins p e n g u i n s we have added here s so this is plural penguins i have mentioned here more examples read along with me this is singular this is plural car 
is a singular plural as cars pencil pencils tree trees desk desk pot pots mask masks flower flowers leg legs these are all the singular and plural examples now here i have given brushes what is the singular brush b r u s h you have to write this kindly note down and write observe the word bush sorry brushes the two letters that come after brush or what are the two letters x s here that is e another one letter is yes so e yes we have added e and yes observe that we add yes to some naming words to form the plural for some naming words we are adding yes for example carrot plus yes carrots penguin plus yes penguins for some naming words we add es to the plural what are the some naming words we add es brush plus es brushes box plus es boxes bush plus es bushes peach plus es peaches bus plus es buses these are all some examples i think you are clear with the singular and plural now look at the last letter or letters of the singular form of these words in the singular form look at the last letter which is the last letter here ch here yes here what is the last letter x here yes h so these are all the last letter or letters which we want to which we want to note okay whenever we form a plural there is a tip box given here look at the tip box we usually add es to words ending with this is an important line kindly note down this we usually add es for the words ending with yes x yes h and ch these are all the clue words clue letters which you want to note down whenever you form a plural form of any naming words if you are forming the plural form of a naming word which ends with s yes or x or sh or ch means you have to add es to that word okay tips for to form plurals look at the last letter of the word in singular form if they ends with s yes, x sh and ch and es after the last letter to form the plural okay if it ends with these words add es dress last letter is yes so es here dresses fox last letter is x so es if we add means foxes dish sh yes, dishes here bench ch so benches these are all the examples of singular and plural naming words read each word aloud and listen to the sound that it makes dress plus yes dresses foxes dishes benches so here s sound is there e yes sound comes here but for carrots uh, carrots then pumpkins cats and all we had only s sound s, carrots s. here dresses s sound is there okay plural rules are here i have given you two more rules also most time you you just add yes this rule you know already we will add yes to the plural form ends in y if a naming word ends in y drop the y and add i e s drop the y and add i e s for example candy c a n d y if you have the word candy means what should i do drop the y drop the y means remove the y and add i e yes i should write here i e yes so now candy becomes candies candy means only one candy candies means more than one are you clear with this yes next one ends in ch yes sh x or is that this one we have seen already we have to add e s yes. this one you knew that last rule is what is our last, last rule ends in f or f e drop f for example thief t h i e f thief if the word thief is there it is also a naming word so we have to remove f drop f and add v 
e yes so what will come thieves the word will become as thieves so this is one more extra rule for your knowledge okay next one is watch out watch out means we add es to the words ending in z also to form the plural in just in such words we add another z before adding the es for example quiz if the word is quiz means we will add es it is correct but before adding the es we should add one more z at the end first add z then you add the es we also add es to some words ends in o i have given you how many rules one two three rules here these are all two more rules so totally five rules z if any naming word ends with z means you have to add another z then only you have to add es if the naming word ends with o also you have to add es what do you want to add es buffalo buffaloes yes tomato tomato tomatoes potato potatoes so these are all the words which we add yes i think you are clear with these this is one activity which you want to do uh, for example kindly check your bag or things around you at home okay write the singular singular things at your left side column this side column you have to write singular things because i have only one object means i should write in the left side column but this side you have to write the plural object more than one it may be two object also it will be considered as plural so this is the plural column this is the singular column here for example you can write lunch bag tiffin box or pencil box you will be having one only for that but pencils you may be having two pencils i have two pencils i have three erasers i have two sharpeners like that you can write i have 10 crayons like that also you can write this is singular column and this one is plural column same way here also singular here plural kindly complete this activity at home itself next number 2 question in think and take activity question number 1 is singular plural you want to write with sentence Uh, question number 2 years you have to write at least four objects which is singular for example um, um what shall i say book for example book b o o k book you have to write the plural form that side what will you do book means books b o o k s yes, books okay this is one example you complete this activity i think you all enjoyed this session i think you learned this rules how many rules are there totally five rules if uh, naming word ends with y means you have to drop the y and add i e s if a naming word ends with ch or s or sh or x z means you have to add e s if it ends with a, z means especially you have to add one more z then only e s Uh, if a naming word ends with f or f e means drop the f and add v e s yes. these are the three rules four rules we have seen i think you enjoyed today's session kindly recall once read and complete this activity till page number 11 let's see companion 1b to 1d in the next next session okay take care stay safe stay blessed thank you children